Jason, I know you were happy with the last two performances for the most part with the teams despite not picking up points, but what ha can you work on or what have you been working on this week just to clean it up around the edges? You know, for me, it's a, it's about moments now. Um, and so as a coaching staff, when you look out and, and see the product, the performance on the field that we've seen, we've seen that we're, our ideas are getting across. Uh, a lot of very good things, a lot of positive things. The game feels more stable. We're giving up less chances, less chances against very, very dangerous teams in Atlanta and Toronto. Um, and so those are positives. Now it's about cleaning up the moments, right? I mean, so the beginning of the Atlanta game, we don't open up the right way. Um, we're allowing too many transitions because we're not good enough with the ball at the beginning of that game. And so, so that was an area we wanted to really clean up for the Toronto game. We wanted more control of the game. Then we go to the Toronto game, we have a lot more control of the game. I would say that we have to be one of the very few opponents that's going to go into Toronto and have more possession than they do uh, in their stadium. Uh, and so we've controlled the game better now. Uh, and now we just have a couple of really dodgy mistakes late in the game, uh, individual mistakes. Um, but also a little bit of a collective ideas about not allowing individual mistakes. How do we help each other better? So it's the details now, I really feel like. Um, and I think once we put those de details together and marry them with the performance that we're seeing out of 90% of those matches, I expect uh, real positive results here in the very near future. Do you feel that those are signs that the bigger picture of what you're trying to accomplish since you've gotten here are really starting to come together? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, just really feel, you know, and it's odd because we've lost two games in a row, which, you know, makes us all very sick to the stomach. Um, but I do feel like we're heading in a very positive direction. And I think now, as I said, we marry a performance with a result. And I think we we can go on another tear like we did a few a few weeks back. What's the confidence level like uh, of this club after the two losses? Uh, are, they, are they still the same as they were during the six-match win streak? Absolutely. Uh, it feels the mood around here feels, feels the exact same. Uh, I do think there's a little sense of urgency right now uh, about trying to make sure that this weekend we get all three points and we don't go on any type of slide. Uh, and I, I, for me, I feel the energy feels right, the confidence level feels right, uh, the, 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 the togetherness, the commitment, everything in the training sessions the last two days feels like uh, we're headed in a real positive direction. Does it feel completely different from last year when you went on a slump around this time of year? Does it feel 100% different? It does. It does for sure uh, because, you know, like it or not, last year, you know, after all of those wins that we put together at the very beginning of the season, I was still kind of scratching my head a little bit saying, I think we're a lot more fortunate than probably we deserve to be. Uh, and this year, I feel like we earned uh, all those six wins in a row. Um, and we uh, we didn't get something we didn't get something out of luck or chance. We got them because we were the better team in the games. Uh, and I would say that these past two performances, I, I think I could make arguments that we should have walked out with more points in the, both of those games than we got. So again, everything feels like we're moving in the right direction. Looking ahead to Saturday with Andrew Tark being out, Chris Schuler probable to get the start. What can you just say about him as a player? Um, Chris is a, a fantastic professional, um, fantastic um, communicator, an organizer in the back. Um, and we saw that you know he stepped into his very first game with us, I thought, and had a real solid performance against Real Salt Lake. And we walked out with all three points. And I think he was a big contributor in that game. Uh, so if he gets his opportunity this weekend, I would expect nothing but the same. Coach, you mentioned urgency to get the three points on Saturday. Chicago is a little bit, kind of having a little bit of a slump as well. They have, I believe, seven first half goals this season so far. In terms of playing at home, how important is that to kind of take advantage of that opportunity to get the scoring early? Too? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's, um, you, you made a really good identification because we go into this game and we say this is an opponent that's feeling exactly like we are right now. They're going to have some real urgency about their situation. They lost the last two in a row. Uh, and so I know that they, you know, they've had some some rumblings about disappointments in the locker room and disappointments in performances. So we expect an emotional team to come at us uh, on Saturday. Um, for us, it's it's been a big focus of ours to 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 be more stable in the games in the beginning, uh, to be more on top of things in the beginning of the matches. Uh, and I don't think, you know, I still think that's an area, you know, barring I think Toronto and one other match this year. We've allowed goals in first first halves of most of them, so it's an area that we know needs improvement. And even more than that, we need to score the first goal in some matches. Coach uh, Stefano said yesterday that he was saddened by his performance against Toronto. What were the words that you might have uh, told him, and then um, just to kind of keep him up, I guess? Yeah, no. At halftime, I talked to him and, uh, because I knew that he was really struggling. It was obvious from um, from some of the touches that he had, but obvious from his body language too that he was really down on himself. 
Um, and my experience tells me that, that you have to rebound back from those situations. Every player in the world has bad games. Every single one has bad performances. It's the best players in the world that move on from that extremely quickly. Uh, and so that's what I told them. And that's why God made soccer with two halves. Uh, and there was an opportunity for him to do better in the second half. And I actually think he did do a little better in the second half. Had some positive touches and he had some positive moments this week already in training. Seeing him out here in training, it looked like he was working on his hold-up play specifically. How, how important was that uh, for you as a coach to see him working on something that he was lacking in in the Toronto match? Yeah, absolutely. I think you know every player, again, has strengths and weaknesses, and every player um, should show a desire to work on the weaknesses, and that's what Stefano wanted to work on today was a little bit of his hold-up play. But the other thing is that we don't need, we don't need Stefano to be dumb. We need Stefano to be Stefano. Um, and he doesn't have to do all the same things that Dom does. He can do some things differently and perhaps maybe a, bit, a little bit better. We saw Justin Miram score at the Atlanta game, but kind of didn't have that same performance with Toronto. I mean, what are you kind of telling him in terms of kind of avoid going into another rut and kind of find a scoring form like you had last year? You know, I think um, for me it's just about, again, about you know, moving past performances. If there's a little bit of a, a disruption in level of your performance, you need to move forward and know the player that you are and the player that you have been for very many years. There's no fluke that Justin Miriam is as uh, effective as he is in this league. He didn't do it just by one year or half a year. So um, we're doing just everything we can to, to, to bring him up, to lift him up, to get him to reach his potential. And we believe that he's moving in a very positive direction again. Another guy that I think, you know, apart from the goals, had really some really positive moments in a lot of the games lately. Any updates on Don Dwyer and Lamine Sané? Um, yeah, Lamine uh, took a little bit of a knock yesterday, trained inside today. We have no hesitation. We believe that he'll be uh, fit and ready for this weekend. Dom um, uh, is also doing some training on the inside, and, and we're hopeful um, that he'll be ready for this weekend as well. How difficult has this year been with just the different number of combinations on the back line for their <laughs> communication, for Joe's communication with them? I mean, have you yeah. experienced something like this? Before? No, of course. Uh, of course. I feel like I've experienced a lot of it. Yeah. Uh, especially over the, the past couple of years, you know, I think that this is the first year where I, I can actually say with confidence that it's okay. We have somebody go down, it's okay. We got somebody that can step in and do the job. Um, I really feel strongly about that this year. Now, it's not a perfect situation because you would, you would in an ideal situation want to have a back four that stays together and plays together for very many games. But performances, scores, results, and, and injuries and suspensions all get in the way. How important is it going to be to kind of keep Christian from picking up yellow cards with obviously Yoshi out to Russia. He's on sitting on three now, but with this yeah. stretch coming up. Yeah, no, it, it's important. It's important because I feel like Christian's been really, really good for us. This, this Toronto game may have been his best, actually. Um, unfortunate that we couldn't get the three points to marry that performance with, uh, with the team's performance, um, but he's an important player. But again, uh, he goes out. we got other guys that are more than capable and more than ready to step in.